Okay, so I'm just gonna um, thought I'd just film this just um, as an update really on my sort of van install. Van's like two years old now, and I've obviously been working at this for for the last two years. Uh, with how I've not really changed a lot since I did the the last video when I first built all of this in here. Uh, but the I've obviously changed a few little bits, which I'll just run for you. And the the, the big thing is I've sort of put a 12 volt inverter system in here so I can obviously charge uh, so like site batteries uh, I've got a fridge in here now and uh, I can boil a kettle which were my main sort of three sort of things I wanted to be able to do so um, I'll just sort of flip around now and I'll sort of just show you what it looks like now and sort of just run through what I've sort of changed so uh, as you can see I'll just turn the lights on looks pretty much the same as before um, the only extra bits which I've obviously put in is this sort of area here it's where the battery is I'll show you in a minute um, got a fridge there now and the kettle is round on the side there so I did have some hanging hooks on the side I've now put my hanging hooks here with all my coats and what not else we sort of, sort of need um, so I'll just walk around the side here and as you can see there I've got a, a small kettle which boils in sort of two to three minutes um, up there is the controller for um, how I charge the battery uh, in here is the battery and the inverter and the split charge relay which obviously charges uh, the battery from the engine and then on the roof we have some solar panels um, and to be honest with you the solar panels work solar panels work really well um, they keep the battery topped up pretty good the whole time um, and then obviously the engine running sort of keeps it topped up as well so I'll just run through how I've made it all work and um, go from there so obviously I've wired everything in so the lights these internal lights are off this switch um, which is quite handy because uh, the all you get is these little lights in these vans which are pretty crap really to be fair uh, these are massively different so I've wired a switch there and there's another switch on this back door so that's on a two-way switch so that sort of yeah don't matter what door you're on you can turn them on and off so it's just yeah very useful and then I've got a 12 volt system so if you noticed on the other switch which I'll go back to I've got uh, the lights on that switch and then I've got this switch which turns the 12 volt system on and off so down here you can see there it's 12 volt which is running my fridge which is sitting in here um, I was going to try and build it in properly but it's actually handy to have it. I can sort of it's on now um, I leave to be fair I leave this on the whole time it doesn't drain the battery one little bit um, so yeah that sort of that if I turn that off that will turn the fridge off if I switch the switch see it's gone out turn it back on fridge comes back on but then that, that obviously livens up that 12 volt socket and I've got another one which is wired up here which is on this big lead light it's got I've got an extension for this so I can run that sort of a fair distance if I need to so also there's the inverter which is there it's just got a plug on the side of the inverter so I've just sort of put a, a, a plug extension down to this double socket here which obviously once I liven that up there's enough to charge a, a standard battery up so if I flip this on it's on now if I grab the battery charger 
I plug that in down here. I'll turn that on. Just charging the battery up now. So, um, so on the control panel here, it's hard to see. It tells you it's uh, on 13.4 volts. Um, that little bit there means that the solar panels are working. That's your battery level. Uh, and then obviously this turns, there's just a button there. That just turns that on and off, which just livens up these um, USB chargers if, if needed. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much how it all works. And obviously the kettle just plugs in down, down the bottom here. That's the kettle one. If I flick that on, see that lights come on the kettle. There's not hardly any water in there, so that will start boiling, but I'll just turn it off. Um, yeah, and that I'd boil that two or three times a day if I've obviously got no sight power. Uh, and that keeps, yeah, keeps me with hot drinks, which is handy. Um, there's not a lot else I can explain to you, really. So I sort of ran this red cable here. It's the one that goes back through obviously the cabin and to the battery it's just literally wired to a terminal in there comes back through um, I haven't done this that tidily to be fair um, it's just <laughs> I, I sort of put it in a hurry and I've never got around to tidying it out but it sort of works for me and then I managed to if you look up here these two cables here are for the solar panels and there's screws on the roof rack, if I get up there, which goes straight in the cabin, so I don't have to drill any holes or anything. And that's just sort of, I've just CT one this down, so it's just sort of stuck down with mastic. And that's never, never, never leaked. Never, I never had a problem with it. And hopefully, I can just cut that mastic off whenever I need to take them off. Um, I don't mind sort of sacrificing the solar panels for some more if I need to, but that's sort of how it works, really. Okay, so that's that's it, really. If you sort of want to know anything else about how I've done this, or sort of what equipment I've used, just sort of send me a message and I'll, I'll sort of answer what I can. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I might see you on another video soon. Cheers.